Bienvenidos, bienvenidas a un nuevo gameplay de este Batman donde con este capítulo ya acabamos, finalizamos esta gran aventura que he tenido el placer de disfrutar y que este último episodio pues eh, lo he disfrutado mucho, ¿vale? Espero que vosotros también lo disfrutéis, no os perdáis la épica batalla eh, final porque es apoteósica, no os perdáis ningún detalle de este capítulo porque vale todos y cada uno de los segundos que hay invertidos en él. Así que nada, solo me queda agradeceros el hecho de que os hayáis pasado por todos los gameplays de este juego. Muchísimas gracias por haber estado ahí. Un placer y hasta la próxima. ¡Adiós! Heading into the basement. Be careful. I'm all right. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. Alfred, there's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. Alfred's blood is still fresh. Means we can't be far behind them. Now let's find out where the veils were hiding. There's a small room. with a hole in the floor. Alfred! A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Going inside. Bruce, what's down there? Do you see Alfred? No. It's some kind of torture chamber. Shackles, belts, blood. What? Vicky, she was kept down here, locked away. Who could do that to their child? I'm beginning to understand. What is there to understand? To willfully hurt a child? Vicky was just a child. And the veils locked her in the dark. Beat her. Revenge must seem like the only choice. Their own daughter! The veils foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. It's glad. 
buses. Alfred lay down here. The belt. It's caked in blood. Bloody scratches, fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred? No. Shackles. Blood on them. Old. And new. Vicky did to Alfred what was done to her. Vicky created her here, in this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different, newer. One piece apart from the others. Blue. Mm -hmm. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... Figures fleeing from something. Is that Arkham Asylum? Some of the words have been highlighted. She will liberate. Alfred left me another clue. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. The newest chalk. He's added to an old drawing of Arkham Asylum. He drew figures outside the gates. Like they're running away. The words highlighted are, she will and liberate. She will liberate. I don't see what that has to do with Alfred. Alfred's just along for the ride. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. Good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. That suits no slouch. You're well prepared for a fight. And the GCPD are on their way to deal with the inmates. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead, I got this.
This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. No one's dying tonight. You really think you're in control here? <laughs> Your confidence is impressive, but that won't save the butler or the rest of Gotham. A lesson needs to be taught. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I don't care what you've been through, how long you spent in that hole, how many times they beat you. The only thing I care about is locking you up. For good this time. I see why you fight for the heartless people of the city. You're just like them. And you'll suffer the same fate! Your time's run out. Vicky! There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman! Batman! He stuck me in here! Me too! Let me out! He's the crazy one! Security systems offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the children of Arkham. Did you see her? They went.
Take your time, sons. That's the plan. It's a pleasure to see your work in person. Batman! Lady Arkham has a hostage. We've got the inmates. Lock it down! There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. <sighs> Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, Bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. I won't lie. You're doing so much for one old man. Deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than his father? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward. Leaving other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy, Batman. Wait. <sighs> I'm 
curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? Batman is who I am. Who I need to be. To do what must be done. If that's what you believe, you're lying to yourself. You wear the mask so that you can't be held accountable. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you... you... you came... you came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man... the man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. Release him. Then we'll talk. <laughs> you know, I just don't believe you. I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Batman, oh. don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. You're only a piece in the bigger game, but... You're the only piece I have left. It's over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge!
this darkness, Pat. You'll be buried with it. You and the butler. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it. It's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Selena. Alfred, here, L let me... No, no, don't. With everything that's been going on, I... I, uh, I haven't yet thanked you, Bruce. You've saved my life. I've no doubt Miss Vale would have killed me had you not arrived when you did. But the fact remains, in my state, I'm not of much use to you. It'll take time to adjust, and I'm afraid it may interfere with my butler duties. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. I promise you, I will use everything at my disposal to help you. Oh. Well, sure. I mean, the silver's not gonna polish itself, is it? <laughs> we will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon, Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a first start. For you, and for this city. Though, 
In Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank you, Alfred. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well... Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask. And one is who you truly believe you are. Batman will be in attendance. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. the city for the first time in the wake of the terrorist attacks perpetrated by Lady Arkham. I, as acting police commissioner, Commissioner Gordon, it doesn't sound right. Batman! Is everything all right? I assume you're not here to give a speech. So, what is it? I wanted to show Gotham that I stand with its new commissioner. Uh, acting commissioner. But all the same, I appreciate it. The city's on edge. Tonight can make all the difference. You're one hell of an addition to this lineup. Gotham's best and brightest have turned out for this. I know you're not a man of many words, but I'd like to say something to Gotham on your behalf. Is there anything you'd like them to know? Maybe about how you'd like to be seen moving forward? Tell them I stand behind you. You are the hero that Gotham needs, Commissioner. I hope I don't let them down. You won't. You know, I always wanted this. To be commissioner someday. To have the chance to shape this. I should probably be used to that by now. Now in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. One of those citizens is Batman. He told me I was the hero the city needs. Well, I intend to live up to that. But I can't do it alone. I need all of you, too. Let Gotham be a city of heroes. United, strong, and hopeful. to lock up. And just minutes ago, Acting Commissioner James Gordon 
delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. Batman made short work of the assassin. Oh boy, it's gonna be tough to top that. But I'll give it a shot.